Okay, so welcome back. So I've taught you everything you need to know to put together a killer video. So what you need to do now is actually export it so other people can see it. Now, depending on your camera, you'll have various HD capabilities. And it depends on what the highest setting is on your camera as to which one of these things that I'm about to show you, you use. But I do recommend always having an HD capability of some sort so it looks so much clearer when you actually put it out there. The quality of your actual video will show that you're a professional and that you're actually someone to listen to, just as much as the content and everything else we've covered. Okay, what we have to do is open up the project that we actually want to export. So I've just opened up one I've finished here. This is basically the intro to the celebrity effect part of this course. Now what I'm going to do is go up here and click on produce and share and this will bring up some options. Now it's got presettings already. Now some of these you won't have because these are custom ones I've actually put in. Now if your camera only goes up to 720 as far as HD is concerned, then this preset here is perfectly fine for what you need. All you need to do is just select it, click next, and then choose a production name. This is just the file name for your actual produced video, and then where you want it to save, and then hit finish. And what this will do, this will go through and it will render it in 720, which is absolutely fine for most people's needs. Now I'll just cancel out of that for a second and show you the other ways to do it. Now we can also go at 1080p, which is one step even further. Now this is great if you've got that capability on your camera, just like mine has. Now I don't always do this purely because sometimes it's a little too far, it's a little too much, but if you wanna take this extra step, then it will produce a very clear and very good looking video. Now for this, we need to actually change a few things though. Now if we do wanna go this extra step to the 1080, then we need to actually come in and change the dimensions of our project. Now the reason for this is because the dimensions at the moment are great for 720, they're great for YouTube, but they're just a little bit too small to get the pure quality you need for 1080p. So what we're going to do is we're going to force it slightly bigger. So we come to here and we click on our editing dimensions and then we're going to change these because sometimes they aren't in the drop down. In my particular case, they're not in the drop down. So I'm going to change these to 1920 by 1080 and click OK. Now if we go into our actual project, we can see that actually my screen's a little bit too small for this. So what we actually need to do now is change the size of the entire project. Now to do this, all I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna select everything. I can even do that by dragging and dropping. Let's make sure this is unchecked so that it actually affects everything. Dragging and dropping and selecting everything, or I could have used Control and A, and it will select everything. Now what I need to do is I actually need to resize this whole thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna position this up in the top left corner and then I'm going to drag the resize just here and mess around with it until it's actually in the right place. Uh, so take a little bit of trial and error. Now, if you knew you were doing 1080p right from the very start, then obviously you could have started the actual project in this. But honestly, it's usually a step that some people want to take, but most don't. So there's no point in having that extra size, extra quality, if you're not actually going to do this at the end of it. So even though this is a one step further, it's better to do it in the lower dimensions and then have to do this. Okay, that looks good to me. I'll just press play on some of that just to make sure that it's all sitting right. Here is the thing to do. Now there's a good chance because you're already... Okay, that looks good. And you can just go along and check all your different parts. Make sure you're not coming off the side of the screen, that sort of thing. That all looks good to me. Outro looks good. Intro looks fine. Actually, that intro is ever so slightly not over, as you can see there by the black line. So I'll just go and fix that quickly. Okay, that all looks good. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So now I can go ahead and I can actually export this into 1080. Now to do this, we need to make our own production settings. So I'm gonna click on this produce and share again, and then I'm gonna come through and I'm gonna click on add or edit preset. Now we're gonna click on new, and we're gonna call it something so that we know what it is. So let's call it 1920 by 1080 HD, okay? Now the file format that we need is MP4. And then we're gonna come through, we're gonna click on next, and we're gonna choose some of the settings here. Now we don't need to have a controller because it's just not necessary. The size here, we're gonna use editing dimensions. The video settings, we're gonna come along. We're gonna 
keep this as auto, but then we're going to change the quality. Now we want it to be the highest quality it possibly can be, so we're going to click and we're going to drag this right the way up to 100%. Now you can actually see the bit rate as well. You go all the way up with the bit rate to the highest you possibly can. So now quality is at 100%, bit rate is at maximum. Now we do the audio, so we come to audio and then we click on this and we put it at the highest setting possible and click next. Okay, now we don't need to mess around with any of the stuff in this screen, so we're just gonna click on finish and then we're gonna click on close. Now when we go in our drop down, we can see that we've now got this option here which is 1920 by 1080 HD. So we're gonna select that, we're gonna click next and it's gonna ask us as usual what we wanna call it and where we wanna save it. So I'm just gonna call this 1920 by 1080 on the end of my normal file name just so I know which one it is. So now I can just click on finish and it'll start rendering the project. So while that's doing that I will just stop this video and then come back and we can see the sort of quality that we've actually ended up with. So now we've exported it and we can go to the production folder and see it there. It's in MP4 which is the format that we need in order to upload it to places like YouTube. Now if we'd have saved this as a different format then you can actually use something called Handbrake which is an encoder. Now an encoder basically takes one format of video and turns it into another format. Now for places like YouTube, like I say, it's better to have it as an MP4. Now if we did have an MOV file or something like that, then we can actually take it in here and convert it. You can get Handbrake for free, so just search for it online and there's versions for Mac as well as PC. All you have to do is click on source, then click on open file and go to wherever your file format is. Now I created an MOV file here just so that I could actually use it on this. Then we click on open and it adds it into here. It will scan it and it will tell us all the information on it. Then what you can do is go to the destination, browse, decide where it is you want to put it, name it, choose the format which is MP4 and click save and then just click on start. Now I'm going to click on this and it will start to render it. Now I don't actually need to render this but that's how simple it is. I'll just stop that for now. But if you leave that to run you will create an MP4 file from your MOV file. Now MOVs are great, they're fantastic quality but they're huge file sizes and they won't upload to places like YouTube so it's important that you do this. So go grab a copy of Handbrake and that will solve that issue. Now just to show you what actually happens when you do put something up at 1080p or 720 whatever it is you decide to do, let's nip over to YouTube quickly and take one of my videos here that I've actually uploaded into that format. Now we can see it's quite crisp and clear anyway but if I click on the settings gear just here and I choose the quality you can see I can actually go all the way up to 1080p. Now if I check that this video is now being loaded in 1080p and it's even sharper than usual. Now I've got all the different settings here because I've upgraded it to the 1080p. I would always recommend going for at least 720 and to be honest if you don't want to go these extra steps then that is just fine for getting stuff out there and it's literally a one click deal when you're in Camtasia. So this shows you exactly how to export it all to the highest possible HD that you could possibly want. So you can go out there now, you can export your fantastic videos and start showing them to the world.